Cystic fibrosis, or CF, is uh, one of the most common genetic disorders, especially affecting the Caucasian population. Um, like many genetic disorders, they're rare in the population, but they're highly treatable, especially if they're diagnosed and screened for early in life. For the past 10 years or so, most jurisdictions in North America, Europe, Australia, and many other countries have now introduced uh, newborn screening programs for cystic fibrosis. It focuses on reliance of a dry blood spot sample that's collected from a heel prick of every newborn infant that's born. The disadvantage of using genetic-based screening for just cystic fibrosis is it tends to identify a large fraction of unaffected carriers in the population. So these are infants that have a mutation but are otherwise healthy. Um, and don't require any further treatment. We're interested essentially to improve the specificity of the screen so we can identify those who are truly affected, again at two days old. So in most cases, these infants are otherwise normal, healthy, and have no obvious symptoms. So what we are interested in doing is to look at that dread blood spot to see whether there's any subtle chemical signatures that might help us identify infants that are truly affected with CF. We believe that our discovery allows us to improve, again, uh, our ability to accurately diagnose CF. Early detection of cystic fibrosis is quite critical because it helps with introducing prompt therapy and treatment. In most cases, infants with CF uh, are prone to malnutrition that inhibits their growth and development. So as soon as we can identify uh, uh, infants that are affected with CF, we can introduce uh, dietary interventions to improve their growth and development.